Well, I mean, every record's different. This, honestly, we kind of remembered, not remembered, but we sort of put back into this record, I think, the songs and the music we've always talked about, classic soul music. And I mean, this song, literally, almost every lyric is a reference to a soul song, like a reference to Otis Redding or Aretha Franklin or Sam and Dave. Um, and, you know, the Ray record before this, <laughs> Ray Charles, big time Ray Charles in that. Um, and that's what we grew up listening to, you know, 60s soul music and rock and roll. And anybody that's followed the band knows that we pretty much say that every time we talk about it. We've, you know, started listening to. But the last couple records were not as much. They kind of leaned a little more towards pop rock. They were a little less kind of influenced. They had more stuff. kind of acoustic guitar textures. Songs like Penny and Me, which was a single, were a real good example of that. Or uh, you know, other songs of kind of similar ilk. And and although there were some songs that definitely kind of leaned a little bit more towards the soul or kind of gospel oh. kind of side of things, still it, it, the record was less. Well, yeah, the record. records were less groovy. This particular record definitely has. A lot more of that in and the uh, horns help. Groove. Yeah, and there's some great horn arrangements. The horn arrangements on the record. Exactly. The last record too, we we spent some time in kind of talking to our fans about stuff that wasn't just related to music. Talking about our activism and work in Africa and raising awareness for issues of extreme poverty there. And a lot of the stuff that we did um, it was just very much about um, you know the connection with a lot of the people that have followed us for years, and just a slightly different story. Um, so this record is, is a little bit more like, you know, just us, you know, playing and, and uh, writing tunes sort of from the gut, I think. Well, let's talk about your activism. People, you know, a friend of mine was like, Hanson, they're the guys that walk barefoot everywhere, which is not entirely correct. <laughs> yes, they're poor. But, they live in Trinidad or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> but so what, what's the walk about? You know, how can we get involved? Well, I mean, first of all, the walk is not about, it's it's about the lack of glamour. It's, you know, a lot of times as celebrities or whatever, you, you, people assume that you do charity events and you kind of walk the red carpet and that's your charity job, you know, to show up. And with us, we, we were inspired by friends of ours that started a company, uh, and a, medical company and technology company and went to Africa with them and what we came back with was the fact that a lot of the issues in the third world come down to really simple needs. Extreme poverty comes down to shoes, water, medicine, a lot of young women especially they're affected by HIV um, and so we started doing these one mile barefoot walks on the last album about five years ago now, four years ago. Um, the idea is if you take your shoes off you connect with poverty in a way that is really very real. So we've now since since 2007 you know, had enough people you know walk with us to circle the globe more than two times. I mean, there's been people that have joined us on our walks. Um, we've, we give a dollar every, every time anybody shows up at a walk, and then we encourage people to give more. We start by sort of sponsoring that first dollar and saying, "Hey, this is our commitment to our cause," and then we want you to we want you to do something instead of just pulling out your checkbook. Exactly. Because so, um, we feel like action it speaks louder than words, speaks louder than than um, a dollar, although a dollar goes a long way. It takes what we're trying to do is inspire people to do something that would otherwise freak them out, because you would have no, you have no idea how many times when you say, all right, guys, we're going to do a one-mile walk, and they're like, okay, and we're like, take no, a we're shoes off. And they're like, no thanks, peace out, see ya. And or most time, or most time, people will look at you like you're absolutely insane and say things like, I mean, you guys just like glass and needles on the street, and I'm like, wait a second, what city do you live in? <laughs> Uh, There's needles everywhere. Exactly. Okay, well, I want to move. <laughs> uh, it is too cool, but this record, um, the walks have continued. It's, um, we sort of said on this record, you know, that this single, when we did it, it's people dancing in the streets, not walking down the road barefoot, but that you should be able to, you know, live your life, dance in the street, have, you know, have a good time, but also turn around and say, hey, I'm going to do something <laughs> serious and real, and, and keep continue having that conversation. And, um, and that's, you know, it, it's about not doing it on the weekend. It's about, you know, turning what you do into a way to, to give and, and not, you know, not talking about it, but just doing it. Living your life for other people as well, yeah. not only yourself. Yeah.